Hello everybody, my name is Zura and I am the Codeholic. In this video, we're going to practice on vanilla JavaScript. More specifically, we're going to improve our skills on high-order functions. I have prepared the following repository and you can find the link in the video description. If you want to follow with me, you need to go to the initial version branch and open the high-order functions app.js and you will have to write your code here. If you want to see the uh, final version, you just go to the main branch and open the same file app.js. Before we start, let's understand what is high-order function and why you should spend time on that, why you should practice. In general, high-order functions are functions which get function as an argument and does some operation according to that function. Higher order functions are very, very often used in today's popular frameworks like React, Angular, Vue.js. People, developers, are using a lot when working in these frameworks. So, using these frame, these uh, higher order functions, understanding how they work is crucial and it's going to be a very, very good practice which you can realize and use in your favorite front-end framework. Okay, so I'm going to open my VS Code and let's have a look at what we need to do. You should make a request on the following URL, get the JSON data and perform some operations on the data. You must use high-order functions such as filter, map, reduce, forage, etc. So the problems written right here can be solved without using high-order functions, but we need to use them in order to uh, focus on these uh, higher order functions. Okay, so I'm going to open the following link so that we can have a look what the JSON looks like. So we have a bunch of information. It is not formatted, but that's actually an array of employees with a bunch of information right here, such as company, email, salary, department, country, uh, birthday, uh, and I think um, ID. OK, so we need to make request on the following URL, get the JSON data and perform some operations. OK, let's make a request using fetch. So I'm going to specify the following URL. Then we get the response and convert that into JSON. Then we already got the result. OK, here's our result and we can already perform some operations on that. But let's print the result right here. OK, I have index HTML and included that app.js in my index HTML. So I'm going to open that with the live server. OK, so here we have it. So we need to open the developer tools to see the output there. And here it is. So we have array of 50 elements. And if we expand them, we see what we just mentioned, company, country, department, birthday, email, name, salary and ID. OK, so let's start with the first one. Actually, we need the developer tools console to be always opened. Just like this. Let me zoom in. OK, here we go. Let's go to the VS Code, app.js, and read the first one. Find and print average salary of all employees who works in Georgia Amazon company. All right, so we need to find the employees who has country Georgia and the company Amazon and get average salaries of those employees. Okay, so first of all, we need to filter the employees using high order function filter. So we get the data right here. Actually, what I'm going to do is that put the whole comments in the uh, then, or I'm going to make a separate function, uh, function, let's say main, and okay, just like this. And I'm going to call my main from the callback and pass result right here. So in the main, we get those employees. OK, let's start writing. On employees, I'm going to call filter. We get the employee and I want to filter those employees who has country Georgia and company Amazon. E country corresponds to Georgia and e company 
equals Amazon. So these are my filtered employees. I want to save these um, in a variable. We can give it a let. Uh, I might need to reuse that variable later. So we have that filtered. And then I want to calculate the sum of the salaries of these filtered employees and then divide on the number of employees inside that filtered array. Okay, so on the filtered, I want to call reduce, which is another high order function. Uh, right here, we get the callback and we get the next element and we get the accumulator. And we can pass the initial value as zero, but by default, it is also zero. So right here, we need to return next plus accumulator. Okay, so this will give us the sum. And if we want to get the average, we need to divide that on filtered dot length, whatever is this. And we're going to print that the answer on the first one is this. Okay, so we can put this in the parentheses as well, just like this. Okay, so let's reload. Uh, Acume is not defined in the app.js. Uh, right. Acume. Save. And here we get the none. So we have some problem. Let's have a look. Okay, next plus accumulator. And this needs to be divided by filtered length. Okay, let's take out the following value and save it const sum. Okay, just like this. And let's print the sum. And yeah, let's remove that. And reload. Okay, so what's going on? So we print sum, the reduce, the reduce doesn't actually return single value. Right, so the point is that we actually, that's my mistake, so we actually take the objects and try to sum those objects. But first, we need to get the salaries of those employees who are working in Georgia Amazon. So after we call filter, we need to actually call map. So we get the employee and map into salary just like this. And now we have that filtered and that's actually filtered salaries. Okay, it's not employees anymore. Instead, this is an array of just salaries. In this case, if we reduce, if we call reduce on that filtered salaries, and we sum up those, we get the total salary. So this is the total salary of all employees who are working in Georgia Amazon. And then we need to divide that on filtered salaries dot length, which finally will give us the average salary of those employees. So we can um, we can concatenate that and we can call math floor or math round. We don't actually care um, known um, after decimal values. And that's it. So that's our um, average uh, salary of those employees who are working in Georgia Amazon company. Okay, so cool. Let's move on on the next one, which is find out, uh, find and print a list of employees which work in Facebook IT department. All right, so we need to do something similar. So on employees, we need to call filter where the company equals Facebook and department equals HR. So this is the list. And we just need to print that list. Okay, so um, let's use the same variable. Um, but that's called the filter salaries. Okay, const list two, let's call it like this. And in the console log, we type second is list two. Okay, let's save and have a look. And in our case, the list is empty. We need to double check whether this is true or not. Okay, so if we have a look in the employees, let's open the following URL. 
and let's search for um, Facebook okay so so we have a bunch of Facebook right here but we don't actually know if the department is HR on one of them so let's use the department IT to make sure that we're doing it correctly so let's find the employees who are working in company Facebook but the department is IT so let's try and have a look right here and we still get an empty array employees filter where employee company equals Facebook maybe I have a yep yep the B is in uppercase okay so we need to have the B in uppercase or we can call to lowercase right here to lower case and then we can always use the lowercase values okay so I'm gonna leave it like this and have a look and we have six employees who are working in Facebook IT department but we actually need to do that wait find and print list of employees which work in Facebook we do actually need to find out the uh, employees which work in IT department not HR why did I write here HR we don't need that HR although there is one employee who works in uh, Facebook HR department but we do care IT department okay this is what we need okay let's move on the next one find and print boolean value if uh, there exists employees which works which work should be work uh, in India HR department and whose salary is above 500,000 find and print boolean value so we just need to print true or false if there exists employees which work in India HR, HR department and whose salary is above 500,000 so the best thing right here to use is the um, sum higher order function okay so on employees we need to call sum which will run the callback on every element of the employee and if any of those uh, satisfy the predicate function then it's going to evaluate into true okay so we have right here a value and we're going to return if that employee um, country equals India and employee department department equals HR and employee salary is above 500,000 okay that's going to return either true or false the sum function returns true or false and result 3 okay this is what we need let's just print 3 and the result 3 okay let's have a look so this returns true there actually exists an employee who works in India and whose, de whose salary is above uh, 500,000 uh, in HR department so if I increase the value right here to 5 million that function will return false because there doesn't exist such employee so this is how some function basically works okay let's move on, on the next one which is get and print a list of employees with only email first name and a birthday of the employees which work in Google UK sales department okay so obviously we need to filter first based on Google UK sales department but then we need to get only first name email and birthday okay so on employees I'm gonna call filter we get the employee employee company uh, equals Google and employee country equals UK and employee department equals um, sales that should be sales we we have that filtered list right here and then I'm gonna call on that filtered list map to map to new objects where each employee will only have first name which will be employee name dot first this is how it is saved in um, objects so right here okay so we need to get name first we need to get the email email is employee email and we need to get the birthday DOB so e 
uh, DOB corresponds to E DOB. Okay, and finally, this will give uh, the result four, and let's just print that four. Oops, is result four. Okay, let's save that and have a look. And this is it. So this is an employee who works in Google. Let's search by email in our JSON. Okay, so who works in Google um, in sales department and country is UK. Probably there are uh, not many such kind of employees. So we get the uh, list. If you enjoy this video so far and you learn something new, make sure you hit the like because that helps YouTube algorithm and that will help me to grow and hit the subscribe and the notification bell button to be informed for future videos. Okay, the next one is find and print an employee which has highest salary among those employees who work in either Google or Apple and are born after 1980 okay so obviously first we need to filter right here as well so const result 5 equals employees filter so the employee should work either google either in google or in apple so employee company uh, equals to google or employee company uh, equals apple that's one step and the employee needs to be born after 1980 okay let's read this again find and print the employee uh, who has high salary among those employees which work in either google or apple and are born after 1980 so we need to specify and the employee dob Yar is uh, after 1980. So I'm going to call right here new date and pass that DOB, which is actually the following string, this one. And if you actually pass this in the date constructor, you're going to get a date object. So we can have a look right here. So new date, we pass this as a string, obviously, and we get the what's up so that's actually the correct so that's correct okay so in the following way we get right here the date object and on the date object i want to call get full year which needs to be above 1980 okay in this way we have the uh, filtered employees and then i want to sort those employees sort and we have the a and b values a and b employees and i want to sort them by salary okay so that the highest salary be at the very top so i want to write b salary salary minus a salary okay and using this way i'm going to have employees uh, with the um, high salary at the very top and then I want to get the very latest one. But I think the sort basically modifies the existing array. It might return the uh, modified array as well, but let's try. So I want to print result five before I get the very first one. So that should give me an array, right? So we have uh, employees who are working either in Google or Apple and they needs to be sorted by descending order by salary. And I guess that's true. So if we have a look at the sal salaries, we see that the employees are sorted in descending order by salary, right? So we need to get the very first one right here, just like that. So if, if that doesn't exist, the result five will be undefined. So we can write um, five corresponds to result five or just an empty string or null or anything so it's going to be undefined if it doesn't exist but we can just write result 5 okay save that and here we see so we print the employee who either works in apple or google and has highest salary okay let's move on on the next one find an average age of all employees and compare it 
it should be it, compare it to average age of Google employees. Print one if average age of all employees is smaller, otherwise print two. So we need to first calculate the average age of all employees and then Google employees and then compare them and just print one or two. Okay, so we have const um, like age one, which will be age for uh, all employees. And in this case, we're gonna call employees um, map. Let's just map to the each employee to its corresponding age. And then I can call reduce on that to get the sum of all ages. And then I can divide that by number of employees. Okay, so we have an employee right here and I want to map that to the age. I want to get the um, birthday of each employee and pass it to the new date, edob. That's going to give me the date object that has get full year, which is the number of years um, inside that. And I want to subtract to current date, which is 2021. Okay. That uh, new date get full year. So if we have a look in the employees, so let's choose any of those like this one. So when we call get full year, it will return 1917 and we subtract 2021, the uh, following year and we get actually the actual age of that employee. The minor issue right here is that um, it's 2021 has just started and the employee might not be, uh, might not have birthday yet. So in this case, uh, the employee will be uh, one year less. The age of the employee will be one year less. So if we want the most accurate way, we need to convert that into a milliseconds and subtract the current, um, current number of date now current number of milliseconds to these number of milliseconds and then we get the uh, number of milliseconds difference and then we can divide that on number of milliseconds in a year on average and we get but this is even the enough accurate because we're going to calculate just average and if there will be a minor difference in the average uh, that's not actually problem okay so we get uh, the number of ages for each employee and then on that I can call reduce we get the next element and accumulator and we return next plus accumulator we can pass the zero as a uh, second argument which by default is zero as well and we we need to divide that on number of employees so divide that on employees dot length and that's going to give us the average uh, age of all employees I need to repeat the same thing for other employees uh, not the other but the Google employees so I'm going to duplicate that h2 employees first I need to call filter right here filter where the company equals to Google and then we map it to age and um, the point right here is that we need we don't should we should not divide that on employees length instead we should divide on um, employees which are working Google so we need to take out that and create Google employees just like this and then on Google employees oops on Google employees we call map reduce and divide on Google employees length. So using this approach, we have two average um, ages, age one and age two. Let's print both. And this is how it looks like. And we need to print one if the print one, if average age of all employees is smaller. Okay, so if age one is smaller than age two, we print one otherwise we print two that's it so we get one right here and we don't want that console log statement okay let's move on the next one sort and print employees in alphabetical order by first name okay that's not complicated so const result seven 
is employees sort we need to pass the comparator function right here so we get the a and b and the sorting logic is going to be the following so if a name first is less than b name first we're going to return minus one if a name first equals b name first we're gonna return zero otherwise we're gonna return one so this will give us uh, the sorted employees in alphabetical order by first name and then we can print seven corresponds to result seven and let's have a look so we have those employees let's start with the first one the first name is ashley okay let's have a look at the second one avila barrett i guess they are sorted park parks and candice so definitely it looks like sorted by the first name okay let's move on the next one check if there exists an employee in google which has salary over 600,000 and is born after 1990. Okay, so again, we need to use the sum function. So const result eight equals on employees, I'm gonna call sum if there exists. Um, okay, so sum, uh, then we get the employee right here, employee company equals Google, and employee salary is above 600,000 and it needs to be born after 1990 so and new date edob get full year needs to be above 1990. let's double check this again so check if there exists an employee in Google which has salary over 600,000 and is born after 1990. I guess that's true. So works in Google, salary above 600,000 and the date is above 1991. Okay, great. So we have that. We can print this 8 oops is result 8. Let's have a look that's going to print false so there doesn't exist actually a young employee who has salary over six hundred thousand. but we can see if there exists um, let's reduce the salary if there exists that employee in this case it returns true okay nice let's move on the next one find and print some of salaries of the users which work in usa apple okay so const result nine equals employees filter e company equals apple and e country oops country equals usa company apple country usa and we need to print some of the salaries of those employees so i'm going to call reduce on that no, first we need to call map to get the salaries e salary and then I call reduce on that where we get the next salary and accumulator and we just return next plus accumulator okay so let's just print that nine result 9 save and this is the sum of the salaries of those employees who are working in Apple and countries USA okay so this is small amount it should be more let's comment the filter and now we have huge salary okay so I guess that's true so there are not many Apple USA um, developers it looks like this so we can search for apple and we can see those are apple but usa 
Apple USA are not that many, maybe. Okay, and the last one is find and print list of all employees which has birth hours in between 0 a.m. and 12 p.m. Okay, so we need to manipulate the date. So const result 10 equals employees find and print the list of employees. So we need to filter the employees which has uh, birth hours in between this. So again, we need to get the date object, new date. We get the DOB and get hours. Um, get hours needs to be more than zero and less than um, less than 12. Actually, we don't need to write more than zero because hours cannot be negative. So we can write less than 12. The hours basically returns hours in 24 hour format. We need to have a look at this. So we get the new date and let's call get hours on that. So this returns eight. Um, but if we just pass a different, different hour, so I'm going to do like this. So let's copy any of the birthday which um, has over 12, the hour, this one. Okay, this is good. So let's copy this. And testing is one of the most important thing of the developer. So I generally like to test my code carefully. So this is our date. And on that, I want to call get hours. Okay, which returns 18. Okay, so there is some um, time zone difference between this hour and between me. That's why, so this returns get hours. We can call get UTC, UTC hours as well. And in this case, this returns 14. So definitely if we call get UTC hours or get hours, this will return above 14 if it is so. So we just need to call get, let's change this into get UTC hours. If that's less than 12, then we get the list of employees who were born in between 0 a.m. and 12 p.m. Okay, so let's print this. Uh, that's result 10. Oops. Save. And this is it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, what is that? Where's the six? Right, so for six we get um, either one or two. So let's just type, oops, six is either one or six is either two, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we get it done. So why should you do that? So today's popular frameworks, um, front-end frameworks like React, Vue, or Angular, use that high order functions a lot if you want to master them you need to practice them so and that practice will definitely be useful when you work in uh, front-end frameworks like react or angular or vue.js so my recommendation is to practice on them find other examples on that and just do as much practice as you can because that's that's very, very helpful and uh, great and powerful um, of uh, Java, feature of the JavaScript, the high order functions. All right, that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoy the video, hit the like. If you love my channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos from me, let me know in the comment section and just share this video to help me grow. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.